Hello. In this video, we are going to change the, the font and some of the properties of all of the content in the text box. And this is a pretty simple thing to do. Um, you can put this in a couple places. I do recommend keep it at the top. Um, there could be some, you know, some funny behaviors in terms of ordering. Um, I like to keep it up top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use text1. And I'm going to use that instance method config. I know this is an instance method because config is acting on an instance of a class text1. And it's going to select a variety of named parameters. And the named parameters here I'm going to use are font. So I can set the font and let's set it to Helvetica and let's set it to 30. Um, and then we're going to do another name parameter, background. And we're going to set the background to blue. We're going to do another name parameter, foreground. And we're going to set the foreground to yellow. And if I run this, if I spell foreground correctly and I run this, there we go. So you see it's changed the look and feel. I think one of the things programmers often forget about is that the look and feel of your, pro of your, of your content is important. Um, again, it's, you know, you have pretty, you have pretty coarse um, adjustments that you can make and, and TK enter, TK enter, but you can make some nonetheless. Um, just to be aware now, remember when we set the height and width of this text box, it did it with regards to the size of the, the letters. So remember it said height of 10, and that's 10 lines, but the lines will be the size based on this font, um, or the size of the font. And width is 50 characters across, and the size will be based on the size of those 50 characters of that size. Now, one thing just to point out is you know, we don't need this state normal here, so we could get rid of that. Um, and again, you could, you could combine these configs with a variety of named parameters. Um, this video is just about showing you these techniques to kind of get you started, but what you want to do is go online and look at all the different named parameters that you can pass to this function to kind of play around with this. I hope this helped. Have a great day.